This is a beautiful day. A day that God has made for us to enjoy and for us to be glad in it. And because this is a beautiful day, I want to share with you the word of God. The word of encouragement which the Lord has put in my heart in this time of crisis, in this time of coronavirus, which has brought great fear in the whole world. But thank God, in this time that there's a lot of fear in the whole world, we have a good shepherd. And that good shepherd is called Jesus Christ, our Lord. And so, let us open our Bible in the book of John, chapter number 10, and verse from 9. The Bible says, I'm the gates, whatever enter through me will be saved. He will come in and go out and find pasture. The thief comes only to steal and to kill and to destroy. I have come that you may have life and have it more abundantly. This is the promise of Jesus Christ. And I want to encourage you with this word a time like this whereby everybody is crying, where everybody is fearing because of this coronavirus. But thank God we have a good shepherd who is going to take care of our life. The Bible says that they've come and they've come to kill, to, to steal, to kill and to destroy. But Jesus said, I have come that you might have a life and have it more abundant. Thank God. Because we have realized that the devil has three missions. And when we know the mission of the devil, we are going to deal with him. Because we have already realized that he comes to steal. He comes to destroy. He comes to kill. And right now, in the name of Jesus Christ, we are defeating those evil plans of the devil. There are many killing that we are hearing in the whole world. That's the work of the devil because the Bible says that that's the mission of the devil because he come to steal. He come to destroy and to kill. But we are saying enough is enough because we have a good shepherd. And that shepherd is Jesus Christ because he said, I'll give your life and more abundantly. And we thank God because as we continue to believe God, as we continue to pray to our God, as we continue to know that we have a good shepherd, we are a very much saved in this time whereby people are crying, whereby people are having fear. We have a good shepherd. And that good shepherd is caring for us. He has done many good things. What is the, what's the work of shepherd? The work of shepherd according to the word of God, the work of shepherd is to default and to care for his people. That's why Christ came, that he can be able to care for us. He can be able to default for you. He can be able to default for me. And so we have a good shepherd. And that good shepherd is Christ Jesus. And he's saying to us that he's going to care for us. That's the work of shepherd. And because he's a good shepherd, not only that, number two, he also said that in this time of crisis, in this time of coronavirus, he came or he defaulted himself that he can be able to love the mankind. And I want to let you know, whatever you are, my friend, that Jesus Christ, the good shepherd, he is loving you. And he wants you to know him. He wants you, he wants him. He wants you to know him and even you to come to Christ. That you can continue enjoying the love and the care. Because he, he came for that. That you can continue enjoying the care and the love. And that's why I'm sharing with you. That this good shepherd is going to love you. He is going to care for you. And whenever you, you might be in this whole world. You are going to enjoy the, the, the care and the love of, of Christ. 
because he's a good shepherd in our life. And my dear friend, thank God because this good shepherd, he also came that he can be able to protect us. You know, this is a good shepherd who is going to protect us from this virus. He's going to protect us from every diseases. He's going to protect us from any, any, any sickness, any diseases that the devil is bringing to our whole nation and even to our, our whole world. Thank God because Christ as a good shepherd, he came that he can be able to protect us. Bible says he is going to protect you. He is going to protect me. He is going to protect us. That's why he is a good shepherd. Because always good shepherd, always care for his sheep. And he's caring for us. He wants to care for you. He wants to love you. He wants to love you. He wants to love, to love you. He wants to protect you. He wants to protect us. That no harm that is the devil is bring to our nation will not come to us because we have a wonderful protection from our shepherd. That's the work of shepherd. To love, to care, and to protect. May I let you know that wherever you are, as you continue to know this shepherd, as you continue to know this Jesus, as you continue to believe in him, as you continue to give your life to him, as you continue to trust in him, you are going to be saved. You are going to enjoy this life because this is a good life. With a good shepherd, you are going to enjoy this life. Thank God because he continued doing great things. Jesus said that he also he is also our protector. I mean, he, he is also going to, to, pro, to provide unto us. Thank God. There's a lot of crisis. There's, the economy is very down in our nation. The economy is bad in the whole world. But thank God, with that bad economy in our nation and in the whole world, thank God that this good shepherd is going to feed us. This good shepherd is going to provide us. Bible says that our God will continue to, provide, to, to supply all our need according to his richness in glory by Christ Jesus. And I want to let you know, friend, wherever you are, God is going to provide you. God is going to provide to me because he say I will, uh, that I will supply all my need according to my riches and glory by Christ Jesus. And so we have a good shepherd who is is Jesus Christ. Let us believe in him. Let us let us know that he came that he can be able to give us life and give and give us more abundantly that we can be able to enjoy this life. Thank God that this good shepherd is going to provide for you in this time of crisis, in this time of hard economy, the, the good shepherd is going to provide for you. So just believe in him. Just trust in him. Just let him forgive your sin wherever you are. Let, let, let him come in your life. Let, let him be your shepherd. And when he he, he come, he becomes your, your shepherd, you are going to rejoice. You are going to enjoy. And your life you will never be the same again. I'm declaring to you that as you continue to trust this shepherd, your life you will never be the same again. Because you are going to enjoy God's provision in your life according to the word of God in Jesus. Name. Jesus Christ, the good shepherd, does not stop there. He also said that I'm going to, to wash your life. I'm going to wash on you. I'm going to wash your life. When you, when you are sleeping, when you are walking, when you are walking, whatever you, wherever you are, at night, at day, the Jesus Christ, the good shepherd, is going to, to, be, to wash on your life. And so, please, my dear friend, wherever you are, I encourage you in the name of Jesus Christ that you receive this Christ Jesus, that you accept this good shepherd, to shepherd, to shepherd your life, that you can be able to enjoy this wonderful blessing, this wonderful shepherd that can be able to take care for you, he can be able uh, to help you, he can be able to provide you, he can be able to protect you, he can be able to care for you, he can be able to love you, he can be able to be watchful of your life and your family and whatever you are doing. In this time of crisis, in this time of coronavirus, we thank God because we are going to be saved because God, thank God that has given us his son Jesus Christ to die for our sin that we can be able to be protected even at a time like this one. And so, as I leave you my dear friend, I declare that your life is saved. I declare you are loved by this shepherd. I declare you are protected. I declare he's going to provide you. I declare he's going to be watched watch of your life and you are going to enjoy the fruit of your life. I bless you. Have a good day. And I declare the peace of God that passes your understanding to rule your heart and the may face of God uh, continue to face your life and protect you wherever you are in your life. In Jesus' name.